Hi folks, Dave here, and today I'm going to be going over the installation of HD SDR software defined radio software for your Teratech or other uh, Realtek uh, LTR 2832 chip dongle. Um, there is another video, I'll put a link here to SDR Sharp, which is a different uh, software. And uh, the installation uh, is pretty straightforward as long as you download the right stuff, and I'm going to show you how to do that. First, I'm going to hook this back into my computer. I have a nice little uh, external cable for it, and plug it right in here. All right, so let's uh, let's get the software fired up here, and uh, we'll. Uh, We'll get going. Okay, so um, the first thing you have to do is install the drivers for the dongle. Now, I've got, went through fairly detailed installation instructions for the SDR Sharp software, so I'm not going to do that again, but I will bring your attention to where those dongle drivers are located. Uh, they're at uh, surgeforce.net projects, uh, LIB, WDI, files. Z, ZA DAG, and you do have to have some type of WinZip or other program that can unzip uh, ARJ files. Now I'll put a link to this in the comments down below on this video. And as you can see, here's where it is, and you can download the latest version. Okay, but what we're specifically talking about now is the HD SDR. So I'm going to close this out. Open up the Windows Exploder. The quickest way to find this is just type in HD SD SDR. And there it comes right to the home page, hdsdr.de. You click on that, and it'll pop you into this screen right here. And right here on the very front page, you have the download button. So I'm going to click download. Uh, it's going to take me, yeah, it's going to harm my computer. I don't care. I'm going to do a save as. I'm going to put it on my desktop for now so you can see it. Okay. Uh, let's, I'm going to cancel now and I'll do the installation in a minute. Now the other thing you have to have besides the HD SDR software itself is you have to have the appropriate DLL for your particular dongle. And if you go over here to the uh, hardware button, it will list all different kinds of, uh, of hardware devices. And the one you want to look at for specifically for this dongle is down here, oh, I don't know, three quarters of the way to the bottom. And it'll say RTL SDR DVB T or DVAB with the RTL 2832, which is, we know the chipset and the dongle we're trying to, to use. Okay, so let's download that. And you can see down here at the bottom, it is extio underscore rtl.dll. I'm going to save as. I'm going to put that on my desktop now temporarily. Save. Okay, it's done. It's a very small file. Okay, so let's close out the Internet Explorer. And what we have here is we've got two programs, basically, or one, one program and one DLL. So let's uh, actually run the HD SDR installation. And I typically find that if you just use the defaults, it, it, it's going to work fine for you. So just pick the defaults. And this is a 64 bit computer, so you can see it's going to put it into the program files, parentheses, x86. That just indicates that it's a 32-bit program that we're going to run on a 64-bit machine. Okay, and we're going to create a, uh, a shortcut folder. Yes, I don't, don't. I'm going to go ahead and let it create a desktop icon. And install. Bam! That's it. It's done. Now, I could launch it, the program at this time, but I know it's not going to work. So <laughs> I'm going to close this down. And what I have to do now is I have to move that DLL file into the folder where the SDR Sharp software is located. So I'm going to open my, uh, my file explorer and go to C, 
program files x86. There it is, HDSDR. And I'm just going to grab this DLL file and move it over here. All right, so there we go. We've moved it over there. So now the installation is complete. Okay, that's it for the installation. Let's uh, let's turn on and see if we can scan around and maybe pick up some uh, some repeaters or something maybe. Okay, let me turn this guy on here <clears throat> and see what we got. Uh, looks like we're up in the uh, 70 centimeter band. <coughs> Your input select, you should see real tech there. So let's click start and see what we get. This no seems to be a uh, pretty strong signal. Do what you gotta do to get ahead of the game, and now I'm gonna have to build everything back up, you know? <coughs> Getting something else over here. I'll take it all around to check in. Sounds like a net. Let's get back over here on this one here. <laughs> get your money back. Oh, okay. Get your money back on this video. Well, hadn't, uh, <laughs> yet, so I can check. I have it back, right? All right. Well, I'm going to get off of here. No sense in snooping too much.